morning. Happy Friday, everybody. It's a gorgeous day outside. You can see the sun is shining through. Ah, welcome to Pilates. Let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just take the head over to one side. And, ah, nice stretch there. And other side. Focusing and then head down. And looking up, up. Mwah, kiss the sky. <laughs> the cats always think it's funny when we make that noise. Okay, taking it back, stretch one hand up, one hand here, walk that hand out. Deep breath in. Exhale, stretching forward, grabbing on to the knee, touching the head to the knee if you can. Deep breath in. And exhaling, reach the arm out, and let's go to the other side. Good. Uh, up and block this hand out. Make sure both those sit bones stay. You don't want to lift up like this. But you want to stay right there. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, stretch forward. Deep breath in. And exhale. Reach that arm out. Open. Let's take one leg forward, arms up, stretching over. See if you can grab the toes. If you can't, just grab onto the knee. Keep that leg straight. And feel the stretch behind the knee and the hamstring. Switch to the other side. Up and over. Good. Deep breath in. And exhaling. Right. Taking the legs apart, sitting up tall if you need to sit on the yoga block or on a pillow, go ahead and do so. You want to make sure you're just up tall and not collapsed back like this. You can even put the hands behind you if you need to, and you don't have to have the legs so wide. Take a deep breath in, return and face the leg, stretching down, and then just let your head go. Full stretch, deep breath in, and exhale. Good, and bring the arm through, stretch over. Breathing, deep breath in, and exhale. All right, let's switch to the other side. Stretch down, and then let the head go. Bring the arm through and over. Stretch. Good. Okay. Now we're going to go forward with the stretch. Push in the small of the back. Don't let the legs turn in. Just stay right here. Go as far as you can. I have some students that can go all the way down, tummy on the ground. I'll stay here. Deep breath in and exhale. Some days I can do that. Today is not one of them. There we go. Okay, good job. Let's take it onto our backs and stretch. All right, there we go. Right leg up, point the toe, and then flexing the foot back. Try to keep that knee straight and down bending. There we go, flexing point. Now circle the ankle. And let's pull it towards us. Good. Breathing, deep breath in. Good. Try to pull it as close to you as you can, feeling the stretch in here. Behind the hamstring. Nice. Cross it over. All right. If you want to stay here, if you can, bring the knee up. Pull the hands in between. 
and then let's rock side to side. Okay, other side, tip the leg up, flex and point that foot. And circle, grab and bring it closer. Oh, try to keep that knee straight. There you go. Okay. And we'll cross it over. Stay here or bring it up. And then rocking side to side. And take the feet down. Let's take a back stretch really quick. So arms out to the side. I'm going to take the legs over and then I'm going to look over the opposite shoulder and I'm lifting up off the mat here. You can also feel it in your chest muscles. And then other side. Good. One more each way. Over. And the other side. And over. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get to work. Knees up, shoulders up off the mat. And starting with that single leg stretch, if you need to support your head, put the hand behind here, just one hand behind. Otherwise, we're extending out. Extend. And two. Nice and slow. Three. Lower back stays pressed into the mat. Belly button to the spine. You really feel it working here in the tummy. Good. We're going for 16 this morning. Breathe. Four more. Exhaling as you extend. Here's our last one. Okay, good. Bring it down. Bring those knees in. Rock it side to side. Loosening up that lower back. And let's just take the head over to one side. Stretching the neck. Looking down to that mat. And then other side. Feels good. Other side. Okay. Coming up. Hands behind the head. Let's support that head. And we're going to go for the crisscross. So remember on the crisscross, you want to keep your head looking up. You don't want to bring that chin to the chest. And I'm going to twist, and I'm going to pretend to touch this, this knee. But if I actually brought my elbow all the way to the knee, look at how crunched up I'd be with my head. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep my head here, not here. And then just holding, and then switch to the other side. Counting one, two for the hold. Breathe, exhaling as you extend. And point the toes. Good, I'm exaggerating on the breathing. But it's in through the nose, you really want to blow it out. Look at that. Oxygen pumping in the body and the blood. Get the toxins out. Good. Keep going. Four more. You can do it. One. And three. Last one. Here it is. Okay, nice. Bring it down, rock it side to side. Good, let's straighten one leg and straighten the other leg. Shoulders up off the mat. And try to keep it as straight as you can, stretching, using the tummy to support you, and the legs are straight. Good, now you can try this with the shoulders down. You're going to get a deeper stretch, but you're not going to be using your core at all. So try to stay up if you can, but if it's too difficult, go ahead and go down. And 
do one more each way. One, try and keep that knee straight. Uh, and two, there it is. Okay, bring it down, rock it side to side. Let's take another neck stretch, turning over this way. And hold, deep breath in. Exhale, and then to the other side. Boom. All right, hands behind the head, supporting the head, feet are crossed. Lifting the hips up, and then as you come down, you're coming, extending out as far as you can. That's about as far as I can go without my lower back lifting up off the mat. Up, and here. It's slow. Sometimes I see people doing this, and they're just going way too fast. You want to come up, extend nice and slow right there. Up. Now, if you can't get the hips up off the mat, that's okay. Just come here and then coming down. You want to feel that as you're going down, pulling that belly button into the spine. Here and pull. Yes, that's it. And if you can get the hips up, yeah, let's go up. You got eight more. You can go way up on those. Yeah. But do you really feel that working? Okay, we have four more on the last one. We're gonna come all the way up, grabbing the hands behind the legs and coming up into the boat. Don't let the feet touch. So this is number three. Okay, here's our last one. If you want, you can get the hands there now. Up, roll up, don't let the feet touch. Ah, and keep the chest up. You don't wanna be back like this, you wanna be up. Good, and holding feet. My feet are in the sunshine. I've got a ray of sunshine coming through. Good, deep breath in, exhale, let go, and breathe. Keep holding it here, deep breath in, exhale, relax the shoulders, good, deep breath in, looking forward, exhale, last one, you're gonna grab behind the legs and you're gonna roll like a ball, so I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna come right back up, don't let those feet touch, Good. Six times. Here we go. Down and up. Three and up. Good. Four. Up. I'm, I'm rolling crooked today. I'm moving all over my mat. <laughs> Last one. Here we go. Down and up. Hold it here. Okay. And so I'm like over this way, and I'm like over that way. That's okay. Remember, this isn't an easy pose here. Sometimes your body might be shaken, right? If it's shaking, it's okay. Just put your hands here. You can also put your hands here for a little bit of support. All right, you wanna hold it and breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale. All right, good. Bring those feet down. I'm gonna move back a little bit. Sitting up tall. You want to take it back and then come right back up again. Good. Down and up. Keep those shoulders down. Good. Keep moving. Down and up. I don't know how the sun is coming in. I don't think I have the window open. Keep moving. Okay, now it's just sunshine shining in on us. Days are um, gonna start getting a little longer. Where are we in January? Not much, a little bit. Better than it getting dark at 4.30, right? <laughs> all right, last one. And then we're gonna go all the way down for roll-ups. So here we are. Now straighten the legs, coming all the way down. Take the arms here and roll up. Good, stretch over, pointing those toes, sitting up tall from here, you don't want to collapse, stay up, roll down, and then up, exhaling, as you come up, 
Inhale here. Exhale as you go down. So you can get your deep breath here. Exhale. There you go. Stretch over. And down. And keep going up. Over. Last one, we're gonna hold that stretch. Let's go up, stretch over. Good, now if you want, you can push those hips back a little bit and then really get into that deep forward fold and fold the forward fold. Good, deep breath in and exhaling. One more deep breath in, okay. Up tall, toes to the sea, ceiling, legs are about 18 inches apart. I'm gonna come up, twist, grab the pinky toe with my pinky finger and look over the shoulder. Oh, that feels so good. Deep breath in and exhale. This stretches everything behind here, and the lower back, the neck. Let's just hold and take another breath in. Exhale. Okay, to the other side. Here we are. Up, twist over and hold that. Again, deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Okay. Let's take four of those with a nice flow. Up, twist, stretch, up, twist, stretch. Ah, oh, one more each way. And last one. And stretch. Good, bringing it back down to the mat. And knees are in tabletop. We're going to take opposite arm and opposite leg. So this arm comes up, this leg goes out. Lower back is pressed into the mat as I'm in this position here. I don't want to be up and arched to keep it here. So you might not be able to get the leg extended out. It might need to stay up a little bit. I'm just holding here, feeling where you're at, and we'll alternate. Here we go. Switch. Feel where you're at. Here we go. And pull that tummy in. Seven. We're going for 16, so you have eight more. Keep moving. Okay. To point those toes, get a good stretch across the top of the metatarsal. Four more. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And eight. Okay, good. Bring it in. Rock it side to side. Okay, arms to the side, toes up to the ceiling, drop the legs straight down, tap if you can, and bring it back up. Now on this one, you wanna make sure that you're not extending out when you drop it, because if I extend out, my back's gonna come right up off the mat. I don't want that, I gotta pull it in, drop it. If you can't tap it, that's okay, just go right there and bring it back. Right? You might not be able to tap because you're putting, you're using those inner obliques to pull it up. You can put your hands on your tummy right there and feel that muscle working. If you go to your belly button here and then just long your fingers there, that's your little inner oblique right there. And it's working down and up, up, down, up, up. Breathe. Up. Four more. Here we go. So strong. One. Two. 
and four. Okay, now we're gonna add in. What I want you to do is just cross your feet. It's a new one for you. It's an old one. My client used to call this the little one. I'm doing the same thing. So I'm thinking of that dropping motion, but I'm dropping both knees. I can only go about two inches each way, okay? That lower back needs to stay on the mat. Put your hands here, feel those inner obliques. I'm dropping one, two inches, and then pulling it back up. Let that time again. Then small isometric movement down and up. See? If I go too far, whoops, there goes my back. I don't want to do that. Just want to keep it two inches down, one, two, and up, one, two. Yeah? That lower back not moving at all in here. There we go. Down and Hands here, feel that inner oblique down and up. We'll do two more. Subtle movement, the little one. There we go. And up. Here we go. Rocking side to side. Okay. Nice work on that. Let's bring the feet down, starting with the bridges. Okay. And if you have any questions on that last exercise you did, go ahead and, and we can talk about it after class or PM me. Because um, it is just a subtle, subtle movement, but it's very intense. Okay. All right. Feet underneath you. Make sure that your weight's evenly distributed. Be that big toe, ooh, pinky toe and heel. Feet are facing forward and shoulders down, lifting up into that bridge and hold. Hold it here. Feel those glutes working. See if you can get those ASIS bones up higher. Make sure that you're even. Right? Sometimes your one hip might be higher than the other because it's the stronger glute. So it's hard to see yourself. So you can kind of feel if you're even or not. There we go. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in, just holding it, feeling everything working. Okay, here we go, down and up for eight. I'm down, and I'm up. Hold it here, okay, down, nice. Pulling that tummy in, up, down. Breathe. And then exhaling as you come up. Three more. Down. And up. Two. And up. Okay, last one. And we're going to hold it up there again. Down. Bringing it up and hold. From here, the knees go in and out. You're squeezing those inner thighs. Squeeze and out. If you have a hard time with this, come down and just bring the knees together and open. Okay? I don't want you to be halfway doing this. You've got to be all or nothing. It's got to be up with that tush squeeze or down. If you're halfway in between, you're going to be using your back. So get up, squeeze the chest, and you're still moving out and in. Good. Out and in. Three more. One, two, and three. Okay, bring it down. You should have felt that in the inner thighs as well as in the gluteus minimus. Okay, coming back up, just one leg. So one leg is up, and you're going to get that foot underneath you. Now, if you can't do it just with one leg, go ahead and go back to both feet on the ground for your bridge. Otherwise, coming up and 
down. And again, you want to come all the way up. If you can, up, push that ASAS foam up and down. If it's too much, just go back to both feet on the ground doing your bridge. Otherwise, keep moving. And down. And when you do it one leg, this really lets you know which glute is stronger and which glute is weaker because when we do the other leg, it's either going to be easier to get up or harder. So we will know. Know thy body. And up. Squeeze in that glute. It's working. Three more. One. And two. Last one. Bring it down, switch to the other side. Here we go. And up. So I'm on my using my right glute. My left leg's up. Much easier. <laughs> the right one. Always dominant for me. Stronger side. Two more, going for eight. Last one, up and down. Good, take the legs and let's just take a stretch open all the way. Feel like is one side going down lower than the other side? We have tightness in those glutes and the hips, right? This here is related to the glute. If you're tight in here, you're tight back there. Here we go. And close. We'll just open and close for four. Here we go. Open and close. And you may recall me saying the last couple sessions that I've been feeling tightness in here. So what I've been doing is laying on a ball and getting that ball in the butt, all in the butt, and trying to loosen up that glute muscle. Here we go. And nice work. Bring it in. Rock it side to side. Good. We're making a good time. Let's go ahead and take the legs straight up, out to the side. Feeling that stretch, you can put the hands here if you need to support the legs. Or here if you want to push them down even more. Rock a little side to side. Let's bring the legs up. We're going to crisscross. And that movement of crisscross is coming from the inner thigh. So I'm not thinking of crossing my feet. I'm thinking of squeeze the thigh. Squeeze the thigh. And then open. Back together. Squeeze. Squeeze, open, good. Open and squeeze, squeeze. Feel the tummy is working. Inner thighs are working. Loosening up those hips. And open, squeeze, squeeze, open. Four more. Here we go. One and two, three. You got it. And last one, four. Okay. Let's stay here for a second. Let's stretch, flex the feet, bend the knees, bring it in, point those toes, and extend. Ooh. Flex. Bring it in. We used to do this in ballet all the time. Point the toes. Of course, my toes were, feet were down on the ground at this point. <laughs> Bring it in. Point. And up. All right. Nice work. Let's roll up onto the other side. 
I need to be on Dancing with the Stars so I could do dance training. Uh, eight hours a day again. There we go. Okay. Let's take a stretch. Child's pose. I'm just going to take it back. Arms out. Look over one shoulder and look over the other. Coming up into the cat and cow. Here we are. Rolling up. Chin. This is when I'll let you bring your chin to your chest. Stretching that neck. And then up. Look up to the sky. Make sure your hands are directly underneath you. Not out like this. We're not a deer. We're a cat. <laughs> up. And. One more up. And down. Okay, from here, let's take it into the downward dog. Stretch. Hips are up. Stretching. Deep breath in. And alternate the heels down one at a time. Okay, pushing those heels down, hips up, big stretch. Let the hands come out. You're going to go into the plank. Here we are, into that plank. If you need to modify, down onto the knees. Good. Otherwise, you're in the plank, holding here. Breathe. Breathing. Good. All right. From here, taking it up into the downward dog stretch, back to the plank, shoulder tap for four. One, two, three, four. You're going to do that eight times. Keep moving. If you're in modified, you're here. Take it back here. And then coming into your plank. Remember, when you come to your plank, hold the tummy strong. Don't let yourself collapse on both, either modified or regular. And then just tapping one, two, three, and four. Taking it back. Good. All right, keep moving. So either modified or regular. One, two, three. You should have about four more left. Back up. Stretch down. Stand up. Ooh, feels good. Up. Yeah. Let's go. Two more after this. Here we go. Up. Breathe. Make sure that hand is right underneath the shoulders. And here. One more. Okay. Good. Bring it down. Stretch. Nice work on that. All right. Let's go ahead and stand it up. Grab a drink if you need it. Get your light weights. And we'll stand up. Ah, good job. Okay. Get this lined up. Okay. Nice work. If you have your weights, usually three pounds or five pounds will work. Taking the legs wide, we're going to go into plie squat. Arms out to the side. If you don't have weights, just hold your arms here. Don't bring it up here. Down, pushing into the shoulder blades. Arms are rounded, not back like this. 
grounded, holding that big exercise ball. Legs are wide, taking it down and up. Good, if you have the weights, when you go down, you can bring the arms in and open, and you can do this with or without weights as well. In, or you can just hold the arms here, down. Back is straight in your plie squat, keep moving. Here, back is straight. You don't want to be out like this. It's not a regular squat. So you might not be able to go down too far if you don't have good turnout in here. But by doing this, it'll help loosen up your turnout. Loosen up your hips. You get flexors. Good. Down and up. Breathe down. Up. When you come up, squeeze that tush. Full squeeze down. Doing good. Three more. One. Two. You got it. Okay, good. Go ahead, stretch down, touch the toes or touch the floor, and just feel the stretch. If you have the weights, you can hold in there. And you can cross your arms and just feel the stretch behind your knees. Good. Okay. Rock the hips a little side to side. Soften the knees as you roll up slowly so you don't get a head rush. Okay. Regular squats. Feet are wide. I'm going to come down. I'm going to sit in that chair. I'm in a huddle position. Chest is up and back up. I don't want to come down like this. I see this a lot with people. We don't want to be there. We want to be here in that huddle, knees here. If you have weights, you can do the bicep curl with it. Here and here. Otherwise, just stay here. You can put your hosel, if you have weights, you can just hold them right here, right? You just want to make sure that that tush is out and those knees are over the heels as much as possible. You don't want to be like this. With those knees forward from here. We're here, chest is up. And moving. Either way you're doing it, if you pray, <laughs> lift the hands here, do your bicep curls. Up to you. And when I go come up, I squeeze those glutes and down. Put my hands, if you can put your hands there, and feel that hamstring to glute connection working. Squeeze, ah, you feel those muscles working in there. Oop. Down, we have four more. Keep moving. Two. Three, last one. Nice job on that. Let's stretch out the calves. Okay, we're going to go for that one leg balance. So I don't want you to hang on doing this. So if you can't do it, do the modification. Chest is up. Arms come to the side as you hinge over. I'm hinging from my hips. It doesn't have to be far. If I hinge too far down and I look down, I'm going to lose my balance. So here, tummy in, chest is up, looking straight ahead. And then I bring it here into the passe, arms come up. This foot never touches the ground. If you can't do that, just tap the toe, bring it up, arms up, pull the tummy up. Feeling that stretch, tap the toe and up. Otherwise, you're down. Get a supporting leg, the knee's soft. You don't want to lock that knee. You want it soft as you come up. I'm using that glute to hold me here. And I'm back down. Right? And here. And 
again. I'm modifying them here. Arms up. Think about that supporting leg. Make sure you're evenly balanced on the foot. You're not pronating, turning in, or supinating, turning out. The arch is intact, strong. I'm just doing the modification. Good. One more, either way. Down and all right, good. That supported leg is working. It's tired, so let's stretch it. Put the heel down, toe up on that supporting leg, and just take a stretch down. Okay, switching to the other side. I'm going to stay facing this way so you can see. Okay, here we are. So see this knee soft. If I don't want to lock it, I want it a little soft because this glute, as I'm coming down, now I have to hang on to show you, as I'm coming down, is working same as I come up. When I come up, I'm squeezing this glute. So if I'm doing the modification, I'm just down, squeeze the glute as I lift up, feeling the balance. And again, if you're doing the full exercise, I don't want you hanging on to anything. You, you'll never get that glute strengthened if you're hanging on. So this is my weaker side. It's a lot harder for me to do it this way. So I'm gonna try a few this way, and then if I need to modify, I will. Right? Here, so I'm really feeling it. And here, see my balance is a little bit wobbly. And turn, and oh, there we go. So now that I'm like wobbling too much, I'm just gonna go into that modified, just so I don't overwork it or feel the need to grab onto anything. <laughs> grab on, oh, see, there we go. And up, good. We should have a couple more. Okay, try. One more, let's go. Ah, okay, good. And let's stretch it out. So because this leg is weaker, I mean, I feel it all the way in my ankles when I'm doing that. This leg is working so hard to hold me there and building up the strength in it. Good, okay, good stretch. All right, let's go up onto the toes. If you have weights, taking the arms to the side, heels are together. Again, those one bun, two buns become one. I really want to squeeze in those glutes right there. I want those to squeeze and become one. I do not really squeeze as like we do in our exercises. Okay? Strong, tush is squeezed, tummy's pulled in, rib cage closed, no opening here. Close. Arms are going to come up. Remember, side is halfway between front and side. It's not back here. Up and down. If you have the weights, you're using those weights. Up and down. And up. Tummy strong. Rib cage closed. Keep moving. Two more this way. And up. Right, your tush. Okay, good job. Feet parallel. Arms coming up to the front. And I'm going to take them a little wide. I don't want them too close together. Right here. My hip width apart. And tummy in, squeezing, using the glutes, coming up onto the toes, arms are up and down. Good. Two. Remember, don't use those shoulders. Don't get those arms way up here like that. Just bring them right about here, even with the chest. Up. 
eight more and make sure you're not leaning back. Make sure you're not doing this. Woo -hoo. <laughs> you gotta think almost forward, like I'm flying. Flying. Arms are just raising. Keep that weight. Two more. Almost one. Okay, good. Toes together. A little more difficult. Here, you can keep the hands on the hips, all right? Or you can do a bicep movement if you have the weights, bicep curl. Otherwise, you're just here. And again, be careful that you're not doing this, all right? You don't want to do that. You want to keep everything still coming up and down. It's a different balance, so sometimes keeping the hands on the hips is helps you maintain that balance a little bit better when your toes are together. Up and down. Okay, if you're not leaning back, or forward, up and down. Your belly's not trying to get down. Four more. Here we go. One, two, three. Last one. All right, stretching it out. Push the heel down into the ground. And other side. Good. Oh, we're doing, running out of time. Let's get down to the mat and do push ups. Either out on the mat with your push ups or up against the wall or up against a mantle, up against a piece of furniture. Whatever works for you, let's get started on 16 of those and I'll get the camera down and you're moving. You are moving 16 push-ups either way that you do them. Good. Catch up with ya. Breathe. Okay, nice job. Stretch it back. You should have been at 16 there. Ooh. Okay, let's try for the tricep. In the bar class last week, we just, or this week, we just did the one arm. We'll stay with the two arm. So if you're here and you want to do Harder one, you're gonna have the hips up. I see this all the time, people dropping the hips like this and they can't drop. If your hips are up here, look at my hips, they're not moving, I'm bending my arm and I'm pushing up, it's very hard. Okay, otherwise stay down here, come down, push yourself up. Good, keep moving. There you are, all right? You will feel it this way. Especially when you get to about number six. Right down. That was six. And I'm feeling it in those triceps. Good. Let's go for 10 more. Going for 20 today. Further down you go the harder it is because you're pushing yourself up. Push it up. One more. Nice. Okay, let's stretch it out. Oh, good job on that. And stretch it out. All right, let's go ahead and completely stretch out. We are at time on your backs, right leg up. Flexing point, and then cross it over. We're going to stretch out those glutes again. Bring it in. Rock it side to side. Okay, switching to the other leg. Flexing and pointing. Yeah. 
cross it over. Today went by quickly. Very quick. Okay, that side. Okay, let's roll up. Nice work onto your hands and knees. We're going to stretch out the hip flexors. Bring one foot through, keep the knee over the heel, and pushing this hip down. Feeling that stretch. If you want to get a deeper stretch, curl the toe, get into that lunge. Carry the other legs here. Okay, straighten the leg. And lift that toe. Stretch. Okay, let's go to the other side. Down. Okay, you're stretching right in the air. Curl the toe if you want to go into the lunge. Let's get a little deeper down into that stretch. The knee and then straighten the leg, lift that toe. Okay, let's bring it down. Hmm. It should be a easier than when we started. I'm feeling warmed up. Okay, stretch over. I still have Time is it 10 o'clock? I still have three more hours of exercise today. Client in another class. Here we go. Bring it over. Fridays are busy. Then I eat all the chocolate I want. <laughs> Stretch it over. Give it reach a little more. Okay, and other side. Okay, bring the arm through. Okay, and then let's bring it to the front, get to the down. Deep breath in, exhale. Okay, feet together, either here or you can do them in a crossed position. It's up to you. Take the head over to one side. Stretch to the other side. Okay, reach the arms up and open, grabbing to the back. Okay. All right. Awesome work today, everyone. Give yourselves a hand. Hi, enjoy the rest of your day.